Hello Ice and Fire Nerds, this is Chris, and welcome back to another Game of Thrones Season 7 video. Well, I guess this is just a Game of Thrones video. I have a cool little parallel I thought of the other day. You know, we have the whole Song of Ice and Fire thing. We have Danny being fire, Night King being ice, and of course, John represents both ice and fire. And of course, that's the big end game in our story, the great game, so to speak, what Tyrion calls it. But there's certainly another game going on that kind of parallels this ice and fire thing a little bit. That is Littlefinger and Varys. Dracarys. <laughs> And also, before we get started, please stick around to the end of this video. I have a huge announcement about a new venture that I'm involved in with some other YouTubers. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm sure some of you are already aware because a couple of them have announced on their channels, but I wanted to make my official announcement as well. So please stick around to the end of the video to find out about the great news. We're all kind of keeping our eye on the big end game now. We're getting closer and closer. We have Danny coming to Westeros. We have the Song of Ice and Fire being John as far as being both. We do have the Night King representing Ice because I do believe he's a proto Stark. We also have another game with Littlefinger and Varys, and the game they're playing and how they've manipulated things, but for very, very different reasons. But I think it's a great parallel to the whole Ice and Fire thing. So are we kind of overlooking that game being played at the same time as the major events in our story, and how will that game end? So first off, we have Littlefinger. You know, he started this whole damn thing, getting the Lannisters and the Starks at each other's throats, figuratively and literally. And of course, it was Catelyn who acted on it because she's just an asshole. But the point being here, that Littlefinger has been manipulating things from the get-go. And of course, he is the major reason why we have a lot going on today in Westeros as far as all the war and conflict. Now, of course, this goes for Varys as well, although this was for very, very different reasons. So you had Littlefinger manipulating events with the whole dagger thing, trying to get the Starks and Lannisters at war, which apparently worked. He's gained a lot of power from this, and he's doing this all from a selfish perspective. And then, of course, we have Varys, who manipulated a lot of events in Westeros as well, in league with Illyrio, of course, to bring Danny over and take over the Iron Throne as far as the Targaryen restoration. Again, this is a little bit different in the books. He does support Aegon. But I got to imagine this is probably going to end up kind of the same in the books as well. But the point being here that Varys, being the master of whispers and all the knowledge he has in his backstory about his root and stem being removed. Root and stem. Has driven him to do something bigger and better. And I think he truly believes he's doing the right thing for the realm. And of course, he's manipulated quite a few things along with Illyrio. He got Danny wed to Cal Drogo. And I think the whole thing with Cal Drogo was for her to kind of learn the world and kind of be trained to be a queen, so to speak, in some way, to kind of expose her to things that she hasn't been exposed to yet. Of course, we had a Lirio give her dragon eggs as a wedding gift, which is suspicious to say the least. And of course, Varys also has recruited many people to Danny's cause, including Tyrion Lannister. And Tyrion is going to be a huge player in the end game of our story. He's going to advise Danny on what to do and how to conquer Westeros, so to speak. Although they're going to find out there's a bigger threat when they get to Westeros in season seven. So the point being here is if you think about it, there is a parallel here with the bigger story as far as ice and fire goes, because Littlefinger is essentially on the ice side, so to speak, because he's aligned himself with Sansa Stark. Not that he loves the Starks, but he just loves their impeccable bloodlines. And of course, right now, Varys is aligned with Danny and Fire because he is actually with her. He is going to be her master of whispers in a sense. And he's actually on the boat to Westeros right now. And of course, we'll catch up to that later on in the books if we ever get a damn book. So in a sense, you have these two figures who have been playing the people of Westeros, everybody for that matter, since our story's begun. Littlefinger's manipulated things for his own personal gain and ended up on the ice side of the world. And Varys has set up and manipulated things for what he believes is the betterment of the realm in order to get Danny across the narrow sea and a Targaryen retake the Iron Throne because he believes that's the best thing for the realm. And I truly think he believes that. And I truly think Littlefinger believes what he's doing is right for him. So we do have a cool parallel there with the whole ice and fire thing. But of course, the question is, is how is that game going to end? Will Varys and Littlefinger see each other again? And if so, how's that going to end? Is Varys going to be responsible for actually killing Littlefinger? Now, James and I have talked about in our last few Q&As, in our live Q&As for that matter, a lot of people have asked how do I think Littlefinger will die. And I've been saying, you know, likely it's going to be due to Sansa. And I certainly hope it is. I think Sansa may give the order to Brienne to do that, perhaps Arya when she gets back to Winterfell, because Littlefinger will try to manipulate Sansa into not believing in John as King in the North. He's going to tell her she should be the rightful Queen in the North or Lady of Winterfell, whatever, because she's the trueborn Stark. Then, of course, we're going to have Bran coming back through the gates as well. So, for a little book spoiler here in A Dance with Dragons, Varys is actually responsible for the death of Kevin Pycelle in order to make arrangements, so to speak, for Aegon to come conquer Westeros. In this case, it's going to be Danny in the show. But will we see something similar to that in the show with Varys and Littlefinger? Will Varys get back and have Littlefinger killed in some way and it not be Sansa? Perhaps Varys finds out something about the Faceless Man and Arya is actually on a mission from him. Now, I just made that up right there on the spot. I don't really believe that's necessarily true, but I think it's a good possibility that Varys is the one that ends up taking out Littlefinger 
or it could be actually vice versa. And I also mentioned this in A Dragon Raised by Wolves Part 4, I believe. I would like to see Littlefinger go by the hand of the Night King in some way, shape, or form. He's aligned himself with that ice side, as I was talking about with the parallel. And wouldn't it be cool if he was doing all this stuff only to be the King of the Ashes, but in a very unnatural way? So it'd be very cool for him to die in such a way where he doesn't believe in ghosts and goblins and snarks and white walkers and all that good shit. It ends up that the very thing he doesn't believe in ends up being the thing that takes him out. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Will Varys and Littlefinger meet again, and will Varys be responsible for the death of Littlefinger, or will it be Sansa like a lot of us think, or perhaps even the Night King? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And also, before we get out of here, let me talk about my big announcement really quick. I'm really, really excited about it. So I have a new podcast we're calling The Side Effect that I'm doing with several of the YouTubers, and we're going to be talking about a lot of different things. We Obviously, we'll be talking about Game of Thrones, Star Wars, The Walking Dead, etc., but we're also going to be doing movie reviews, trailers, etc., and we have our first episode coming out this week. And when I say we, I'm talking about myself, Val from Because Geek, Kevin from The Bat Productions, Tarzan from Trial by Trivia, as well as Rorist from the channel Rorist. That's right, Helga from Rorist. That's uh, not a real name, by the way. We just call her Helga from Rorist because that's what she wants to be called. But anyway, Val, myself, Kevin, Tarzan, and Rorist will have a podcast from this point on. It is going to be available on a separate YouTube channel. The links for all that will be in the description below, so please be sure to subscribe to that. It's going to be about an hour and a half every week. And I think we're going to probably release them on Thursdays or Fridays. We're not really sure yet. By the time this video is out, it should already actually be out. So go ahead and look forward to that. Again, all the links to everything will be in the description below. You can check out our website, thesideeffectpodcast.com. It's going to be available on SoundCloud as well as iTunes and Google Play. It has actually already been accepted by Google Play and iTunes. So I'm excited to announce the Side Effect Podcast. And we're going to have a damn good time doing it. So anyway, go check out and subscribe to our new channel. But anyway, that's the big announcement. I'm really, really excited about it. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And I hope you enjoyed it as well you know we'll get a few things to work out it will be segmented but anyway we're going to get that hammered out as we go and of course we'll get better as we go because we're all fairly new to podcasting but anyway as usual thank you for all the support especially to you guys on patreon and a huge shout out to my executive patreon smoke street producers Hall griffin vol guy 10 lala gig kisa powell marilyn bentley mark joseph aka the snow and winterfell joanna sean hayes and anonymous thank you guys so much i really really appreciate the support be sure to subscribe to get everything thanks for watching and we'll see you next